Hello world, it is Monday, January 10th, 2022. I'm looking out the window at Defiance. Looks kind of overcast, it is cold. It's It was 15 degrees when I got up this morning. I did not go outside running or stayed inside on the treadmill. And I, I think pretty much this week, mm, temperatures it looks like it's gonna be in the upper 20s to low 40s, uh, depending upon the day, but cold every night, so. Um, dress appropriately to the weather. The devotion for today is entitled One Bite, written by Matt Laney. Matt bases the devotion upon Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 1, New Revised Standard Version. I said to myself, Come now, I will make a test of pleasure. Enjoy yourself. But again, this was also vanity. Where Matt writes, one year, one year long before the pandemic, I decided to limit sweets to once a week. I was not only defying dad bod and aiming for the abs of a GQ model half my age, I thought it would be a good spiritual practice, a sort of long-term Lent that would make me more self-aware and less self-indulgent. And on dessert days, I would only have one bite of a dessert. I figured the fleeting memory of a sweet is the same whether I take one bite or 20. And if I ate my one bite out once a week <clears throat> with outstanding mindfulness, it was as good as eating the whole pie. What a revelation. It wasn't so wonderful for those eating with me. Turns out, turns out people notice how much dessert you don't eat. My abstinence was noted after dinner with a group of ministers and their spouses. When I shared my one bite a week, one bite once a week experiment, a colleague pinched his husband's stomach and said, we should totally do that. Husband's <clears throat> dagger eyes made me grateful for the table between us. While I did not get perfect abs or become super spiritual, I can tell you this. With all due respect to Ecclesiastes, which sees every sensory pleasure as a fleeting vanity, dying oneself can also be vanity. In pandemic, my kids have been baking and I've had more than a few bites. When so much has changed in their lives, enjoying their gifts is a tasty act of love and gratitude. And Matt's prayer. God, vanity is a sneaky devil. Help me to vanquish it with humility, gratitude, and maybe another brownie. Amen. Well, a couple things this devotion brings to mind for me is one in you know, our Lighten Up group that meets every Monday at 5.30 to try to live a, uh, a better life or li live life more fully, uh, not dieting, but just making better choices and encouraging one another. Um, one of the things I've often said in that group is that um, I, don't, I don't think dieting works because dying, dieting means denying yourself. And the way human nature is, as soon as you deny yourself something, what do you crave? <laughs> that which you deny yourself. But I think it's better just to, to um, enjoy things occasionally. It doesn't mean pig out on them, but enjoy something. Don't be afraid to eat something that you really love. But don't do it every day. And don't have, if you're going to have a bowl of ice cream, don't have um, four scoops. <laughs> just have a scoop. Enjoy it. <clears throat> don't be afraid it, uh, to enjoy things. Don't deny yourself. But change, change how you how you eat and the choices that you make. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes over time, those changes become just the way you are. So um, anyway, that was one thing that brought, was brought to mind in that. And the other is with Ecclesiastes is um, one of the things that I think Ecclesiastes also tells us is that during throughout history, people have always thought that um, God was responsible for things or that things that happened to us were because that we were either good or bad. And Ecclesiastes says, you know, sometimes that's just life. It's not God. It's not necessarily what you do or don't do. It's just life. I mean, bad things happen to good people and good things happen to bad people. That's just life. Which is, I think, all the more reason to enjoy yourself sometimes. Um, 
It also made me think of um, a saying my mom often had was that um, she would say, have a, have a glass of wine every day. The secret to long life is to have a glass of wine every day, but not the whole bottle, and have a piece of dark chocolate every day, but not the whole bar. And I think that's, in a way, humility, and yet still enjoying yourself and enjoying this life, because that's what God would want us to do. Hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoy yourself today, and uh, talk to you tomorrow.